like a, you know, a bad movie. Um, but it's a reality. This isn't how the Grimm family pictured their lives one year later. This time last year, their daughter, Chelsea, decided to drive across the country from San Diego to their home in Connecticut, but stopped in Arizona to camp. She told her parents she wouldn't have cell service for a couple days. And a couple of days after that, I was like, this isn't right, because I normally would talk to or text or email with Chelsea every day. We know on September 28th, she made contact with a police officer in Williams near her campsite two days before she was seen for the last time by a woodcutter in the area. Are you doing all right? Yeah, I just was doing a photo shoot of the lost soldiers and got a little emotional, so I'm I was so... crying before okay. I got back on the road. Watching that video, did she seem like the Chelsea you know? She sounded remarkably composed and very, nothing in that camera footage alarmed me. Her family reported her missing on October 4th of last year, which alerted authorities in northern Arizona. The Coconino County Sheriff's Office found her car abandoned the next day with flat tires and a lot of her personal belongings inside. The thing that I, that concerned me was her camera was in her car. Her camera was a part of her personality and an extension of who she was. I would think that if she were leaving the car, she would take her camera. Police canines searched the area of the car within a three mile radius, not picking up on her scent or any remains. From there, the clues seem far and few between. There were no footprints uh, going away from the car when they found it. We have no evidence that she got a ride out. You know, so how did she get out of there? How does someone just sort of disappear into thin air? Her parents hired private investigator Justin Yentis, who gained access to all of Chelsea's cell phone and digital data, which abruptly ends in the woods where she was camping. That's the last point that we have any type of, of cell phone information. Chelsea had recently gone through a breakup and was having a hard time coping. Yentes is now going back over Chelsea's own words, searching for any new leads within them. There were di diaries and journals, and we've been going through all of those with a fine tooth comb to see if there's any indication of other people that she had contact with. Chelsea's parents don't know if she's dead or alive or if foul play is involved or not. But as the mystery only deepens, so does their tenacity to find their daughter. I just need to know that whatever happens, I've done, I've done everything and that she, her father and I have done everything we can to make a full court press to find her. Chelsea's family is working on getting billboards up off the I-40 near Williams, where her car was found, and also launching a poster campaign in northern Arizona to get her face back out there in the public. Chelsea has a very distinct tattoo of a vine on her left forearm that could help identify her. Of course, if you have any information on her disappearance, please call the Coconino County Sheriff's Office, who is actively investigating this case alongside her family in that P.I. Vanished without a trace and with the camera Strange. left in the car, there are just so many mysteries involved here. What about the mm -hmm. woodcutter, the, the last person as far as we know who saw her alive? Was he questioned, I assume? Yeah, the private investigator said he's been questioned multiple times, mm -hmm. very cooperative. Um, but one of the things they're focusing on, too, is going back and questioning her friend in Phoenix. She actually got lunch with a friend in Phoenix and then mm -hmm. canceled the next day um, and ended up going up north to camp. And so they're trying to go back through that friend and see, hey, was there anything else you remember from that conversation that might give us just even an inkling of what was going through her mind or what may have led to something else because yeah. as we know the littlest details can sometimes open the widest doors yeah. hopefully yeah. that's the case yeah all yeah. right brianna thank you mm -hmm.